it is time to discuss some amazing music. And by amazing music, I mean some of my favorite songs. These are some of the tunes that I've been having in my rotation lately, and things change all the time, but currently, these are my favorite songs. And before I get into the video, please let me know what your favorite song is right now. Everybody has different tastes. Everybody has different phases, I guess. And yeah, I'm very interested to see what you guys are listening to. And who knows, maybe you guys will put me on to something that I've never heard about or heard of before. Before we get into the video, though, please like and subscribe that would help me out a bunch and we are almost at 10k and i will always say that until we actually hit 10k we're so close and i want to do this achievement for all of us i hope you enjoy all this content that i would be making and lately i've been a little bit slow and not knowing what to talk about but i'm gonna just do an easy topic and talk about my favorite songs some video ideas that have been brewing in my head as of late are ideas like what 90s album is aging gracefully and bands that made one insane album then dipped i will have one of those videos coming up soon in the following weeks not weeks probably days so yeah first song on my list that is currently one of my favorites and i've been listening to this song way more recently for some reason and it just grabbed my attention i'm going to talk about the song gearhead by narrowhead one of the bands i talk about the most on every social media platform i have and rightfully so and today i'm talking about a song that i didn't really get into too much until recently and Gearhead has a lot of layers. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of different riffs in here, and each one of the riffs that they have go absolutely bonkers. But not only that, I feel like this is their best song when they utilize their recipe, and that's hard riffs, catchy vocals, aggressive screaming vocals, and a moment of unison. My favorite thing overall about this whole song is the fact that every band member feels like that they have a very important role within this song, and that goes for every song whenever you make an album, but specifically on this one, every band member just plays a phenomenal part. There's more than one singer, there's some background vocals from the guitarist, and it's just like, oh my goodness, this enormous, powerful piece of music. That song and Narrowhead and Streets are saying some mischievous activities are going to be commencing with Narrowhead in a couple days, so that should be exciting. All right, let's move on to the next song on my list, and this is another band that I am very infatuated with and I've interviewed before. The first ever Dump Toes band interview. I'm talking about Millie and their song Drip from the Fountain. Millie just has that ability to create a scenario where it's like, man, it feels like mid 90s. It feels like there's this summer breeze. And they always create these sunny like aspects within their tunes that I really, really appreciate. They really stick to what they know and what they love and what they want to sound like. And in a world where there's a lot of distortion, heavy distortion and stuff like that. And to me, it feels like Millie never really misses, bro. And that's just something that a lot of bands can't really do in my eyes. And maybe it's just because I'm a big fan of the band, but I honestly feel like that they don't really have bad songs like that they're very consistent with it and this is just another example of how millie is very united and they have this chemistry with everybody i love the way that they create their tunes i love everybody's involvement and hell yeah i actually don't know if i mentioned this but this is a new single that they released fairly recently and very excited for their next album very excited for anything millie related i'm actually going to see both Millie and Narrowhead in a couple days and it's going to be very very exciting I can't wait for that and there's just a lot of good energy going around recently and this music is one of the reasons why I believe and the sun is literally shining as I say that the next song on my list is Your Time by Price Horse and this was released on their recently released album Under Sound and man this album as a whole has this mysterious sadness yet emotional gravity but thought provoking and just that sounds like i'm saying a bunch of random words but really they just create a lot of mo emotions and this song your time is one of those examples now i've never really seen prize horse live and i want to in the future whenever they're in california but i just seen that they released an audio tree session and if you guys don't know what that is bands just come in the studio perform live and everything is mixed beautifully and it's just like uh up and coming bands are being showcased in a beautiful way and prize horse killed it and I knew that they would kill it because they make great music and I honestly didn't know what to expect but they knocked it out of the park and after watching that audio tree session I was like man this band is fantastic and listening to the song your time it really just amputated no what's the word it it uplifted my thoughts on the band something like that it really just gave me a more positive vibe overall with this band and price horses 
awesome. If you guys haven't even heard their album Undersound, I advise that you do so because that album is pretty wicked. Great piece of art. A band that has a really clean sound and is fun to listen to. The next song on my list is an old song, but still a banger. And it's called This Side of Brightness by Thursday. And this song is on their 1999 Waiting album. And this whole album as a whole is my favorite Thursday album. And I feel like I don't even have to say too much because it's, it's Thursday. Thursday rocks. And this album and this song particularly is very emotional like Thursday is in general but it is so beautifully orchestrated man there's just like so many beautiful instruments being intertwined and the vocal melody that Thursday as a band always creates is always fun to listen to it's always catchy it always makes you want to sing that exact melody and that's what you want in a band sometimes or most of the time i don't know depending on what you want to listen to but thursday i always want to sing their songs and they just give me the best hooks they give us the best music really and this song <clears throat> freaking love it this is the second song on the album and the song before that is porcelain which you know it starts off the album and that back to back is just kind of crazy and i've talked about both of those songs or porcelain and this whole album and thursday but i wanted to shine light on the side of brightness no pun intended the next song on my list is a song called krillin and this is by three artists or two bands one artist whatever you want to say tag about they are gutting a body of water greg mendez and sun organ man this song is just dreary smoked clouds i don't even know just cloudy action going on and this song overall is very i guess people would say depressing but to me it's just so mysterious and just like cool really have great chemistry all these artists slash bands and that really uh i guess shook me it surprised me that's what i'm trying to say and there was just really great chemistry from everybody involved it felt like this cool moment of everybody putting their emphasis on whatever this song is and this song is fantastic if all of them ever made an album together i wouldn't even be like what's going on i'd be like thank goodness music but yeah man this song is so badass like if you just listen to it it's so cool like i don't even know how to describe it other than it's badass it's pretty dope and the last song on my favorite songs recently is the song five minutes by maya shore i talked about this band in one of my recent hidden gems videos and i'm very glad i found this band because there's a ton of great tunes within this band's catalog and even though the catalog isn't like 15 million albums and 15 million singles eps whatever the music is so phenomenal and it's so consistent and I love this song. The riff is infectious, almost reminds me a little bit of a sunny day real estate, but then the freaking vocals come in and it's just like almost like a sebado type of twist on it. And there's just so many different sounds going on and I'm like, ah, oh, hypnotic. A very exciting song that I can't get enough of. And if this song is always in the background of any situation ever, nobody would even be like, what is this? They would be like, oh man, this is good music. And that, pretty much wraps up this whole video of my favorite songs recently let me know what you guys are listening to i am very interested i know it probably seems like i'm not but i really am interested man i wonder if you guys think i'm lying whenever i say that but no i care about the music and i care about everybody's opinions sometimes unless you're being mean to me then i will cry in a corner and then i would complain to my lovely alexa so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been rambling for a minute, but these have been some of my favorite songs recently. And drop down your favorite songs recently. I will read them and I will listen to them if I don't know what the hell you're talking about. That being said, like and subscribe. Keep the music alive. None of these bands will ever die. Mm.